thanks for checking out this video. Uh, this is going to be a time lapse video on how I paint some Bulgarian infantry. So I know this is not a going to be probably a popular video, but it's one because again, I'm doing videos based on me, who I am. I'm not aiming to try to get quick subscribers, quick viewers, but show off what I enjoy. So I'm going to have a slide at the very end with all the paints on it and how I did things. Uh, it's not going to be like my other paint tutorials, like I did Germans or Americans, because I'm not looking to make it as easy as possible. But I found a way that I really like making these red-brown uniforms, and I like how they're turning out. Therefore, I'm just going to do a tutorial on how I did this. But on my other ones, I keep the paint list low. This one ends up being all over the place, just because... It's a lot of mixing and working around with the colors. So if you make it through it, enjoy it. If it helps you, if there's a piece that, uh, how do you do your those guns, that'll be in the video. I'm doing it all from the base. So what I'm starting with, let me turn a light this way. What I'm starting with is I've airbrushed all these models. I've assembled them from Warlord Plastics. I've based them how I want them right now. And every one of the models have been airbrushed with uh, Vallejo Saddle Brown, which is a nice red brown. And then I took a 50-50 Army Painter Soft Tone Red Tone mix and airbrushed it on these models to pick out the details in the crevices. What you're going to see me pick up with is I'm going to usually go with skin. I'll work on maybe some of the packs and guns, boots. I saved the highlighting of the uniform last. So, thanks for joining me on this. Uh, it's going to be entering uh, speed mode, time-lapse mode shortly. I'm not going to spend time throwing up all the colors. Um, or I might. We'll see how this goes. Because it's really hard to get the pacing right on that. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. And thanks for checking this out.
Thank you. 